it's just destroying their relationships, their finances and what not. Yet, they are not able to stop it because somewhere the jnana in their atma is not complete about it. They may have that jnana that this is bad only at the intellectual level. And it's not called as, it's not just about, you know, having a wisdom. It's about embodying the wisdom. Embodying that jnana. So until wisdom is embodied, you cannot change your karma. In order to change the karma, it's not just that you should have the wisdom. Yes, it's important and that's the first step. To have the correct wisdom, to have the right wisdom. But after that, the second step is the acceptance of it. The acceptance of that wisdom so that you can behave accordingly, you can live accordingly, you can do the karma accordingly. And karma is not just your deeds or doing through the uh, physical body, it's through your speech as well. It's through your uh, chitta, through your man, man, man and chitta as well, right? So in any three ways, whichever way you do the karma, that karma is going to be the right one, the correct one, only and only when you have the wisdom, the jnana and the acceptance, the embodiment of that wisdom. Okay? So make sure in order to improve your karma, in order to do the right thing or if you are on your spiritual journey, then stop creating new karma. And all that is going to happen only when the jnana related to it, the wisdom related to it is going to be complete and you embody that wisdom. Okay, so that is another character.